Stonewall. Buddy, it's pretty good when you can get a standing ovation before you even open your mouth. <laughs> that's, that's better than snuff and not near as dusty. <laughs> Stonewall, in case y'all don't know it, is at this point the longest tenured member of the Grand Ole Opry. You joined the Opry, what, 1957? 1957. And uh, there's nobody that's been there longer than you anymore. Hold that up so they can hear you good. Yes, yeah, I'll still get around there every once in a while. Absolutely. Well, they still love you. Good. Do you do any touring or anything anymore? Or just sit out there on Lake Waterloo with Miss Juanita? Well, well, well come, come, come to see Larry. <laughs> Larry Black. I'm, Larry Black. I'm yeah. great to be here. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to do a song, but uh, but as I mentioned coming in, I, uh, I saved it to last. I did a tribute to the Lord, and it's uh, called... Uh, where Jesus walks, and uh, it's on all the online, so they can get that anywhere online. I see uh, on the lines. <laughs> so that's the newest Stonewall project. So that's my, my my latest project. How and, many uh, albums and all and have it, you made over the years? You got any idea? I was a wall full. <laughs> a wall full. <laughs> yeah, a wall in a big room. Yeah, a wall in the biggest room. Yeah. Well, of course, your first song, "Don't Be Angry," was the one that uh, opened so many doors for no, you. Don't be angry. Had it out twice, and well, Pat, Pat Boone came to the Grand Ole Opry because I opened up my career with with "Don't Be Angry." Mm -hmm. uh, myself and brother brother Wade wrote it back when was too young to know what. Know what we're talking about, but it all worked out good. It sure did. And uh, so, I, I just when it come time to sign it up, and they cuff rose, I just put his name on it because he was in the war and he fought good. And I'm proud of him. My, my brother, my brother Marvin too. Yeah. And uh, so, I've got military. I was in the military myself during the career. What branch were you in the army? And and so, but but I was writing stuff. I was writing poems and things like that. For the guys, and they're, they're copying them and sending them to the girlfriends. <laughs> and uh, so I, I really appreciate you letting me mention uh, uh, where, where Jesus walks. Absolutely. I know but, a lot of people who I, want I saved, order a copy. I saved it to last, and, and I closed my career with it. Uh, Columbia said, you didn't sign that little contract we sent down there. It was contract time. And I said, no, I, I want to do that the last thing I did. Uh, as far as recording is concerned. And they said, well, I'll tell you what, and this is not talking out of school or anything like that, because they like to joke around with being there. But I've been with them for uh, umpteen years, you know. And uh, they said, well, since you've been with us so long and everything, we'll just make make you up one and sign it for you. And I said, well, I just laughed, because guys, I kind of laughed. I said, well, if you send me a little check once in a while, I think that'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine they've sent you a few checks over the years. So that, that's a good deal I got in New York. <laughs> well, good for you. The song you're going to do today, of course, is one of your signature songs. This has been a good one for you because uh, not only you recorded it, but uh, Ricky Skaggs yeah, has yeah, kept wrote it alive. I wrote it about my wife when we were going, to, uh, going together. And I was out walking around the, around the station back when I was there. Took pretty good care of it in the service stations, the service stations. and uh, and my, my feet on the gravel. You know how to get a song, song out of You know, you you don't never listen to nothing nobody says. You listen for a for a tagline. <laughs> That's what I tell one eater, and one eater thanks a lot of you, man. Jesus she said I looked up one time back to it. She was sick. She said Bill Anderson was in my hugging line, and so one one eater. Well, Juanita's very oh. special. I met her when y'all were y'all were still dating. I think she was living yeah. out in Gallatin, and uh, yeah, you found her and brought her to Nashville. She's a sweet lady. Yeah, old Ralph Emmer. He he said on on the wedding on the wedding night they stayed all night with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's country music right there, folks. Stay all night on your wedding night with an all night disc jockey. 